Hey, party people. I, uh, I'm going to turn the table on you because there's been this long running meme that, uh, you know, I've fallen off on this channel. It's one of the many weird languages we've developed in the comments section that we all kind of enjoy. I'm going to flip it around on you. I don't know. I think the comments section's fallen off. I don't know if there's enough people telling me I've fallen off. I don't know if there's enough people telling me I haven't gone for a run. I haven't seen any comments about me eating chocolate turtles recently. I think the Zealandism comment section, I think it's fallen off. I, I don't think this is a me thing. I think it might actually be a you thing. You know, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna flip this around on you. You might not have seen that coming, but we've got a, we got a sick group of people that have developed around this channel. I'm really enjoying it. I don't know. I feel like you guys are, uh, you feel like you guys might be slipping, you know? We're running short on memes. We need the next great meme idea. But I've got some good news for you outside of the fact that apparently we are all collectively falling off together. But if you think about that's like a really good bonding experience. But the good news is I saw something incredibly cool today that I've literally never seen. And this is a direct shout out to r slash soccer, which obviously one of the reddits I am subscribed to is a culture, a man of culture and somebody that follows the game with passion. Uh, I obviously go there to get highlights sometimes, but I literally saw this because of r slash soccer. Now you might remember we made a video not too long ago, right? About the championship race and how it was absurd. Well, there was a very important match of the championship today. Uh, Lester played against West Brom. That match ended uh, 2-1. Uh, Jamie Vardy also missed a penalty in that match. He scored anyways. Don't worry, Jamie Vardy will be back in the Premier League soon because with that win, it was kind of Lester's match in hand. They are now two points clear at the top of the table and four points clear of the playoff spots with three to go. So very important win by one goal. And that's when we bring in our hero, our Afroed hero, who delivered a performance entirely unique. I've never, and I'm somebody that loves the weird parts of the game, I've never seen this. Literally never seen this. It is a perfect hat trick, not just like of goals. It's a perfect hat trick of goal line clearances. Not only is it a perfect hat trick of goal line clearances? It's a perfect hat trick of goal line clearances in a match that is so ridiculously important, like I just outlined. Like, you lose this match. Let's say you don't complete two of these three goal line clearances. Well, all of a sudden you lost 3-2, and now you are one point away from the playoff and not on top of the league. That's a pretty big difference. Now, the first one is crazy in itself. It's just textbook good defending from Hamza Chowdhury, who, for the record, is a player I've liked for a long time. Let's go ahead and give that a watch. We've got West Brom's guy. Oh, yeah. Oh. Sorry, you probably expect a better commentary than that, but it's a it's a pretty classic looking play. He jukes the defender out of his shoes. Hamza Chowdhury set up on the touchline and he drives that ball away with his right foot, sends it skyward. We now have the second half. This is where Hamza Chowdhury turns it up to another level. We have the first shot. There he is again. This is not nearly as textbook as a defensive play as the last one. Hamza Chowdhury is marking this dude. And as this pass is played, I mean, this is incredible game sense here. As this pass is played, Hamza Chowdhury starts to go towards the goal. I don't know if it's just the fact that he, he made a goal line clearance in the first half, and so it was the top of his mind. One of those, like, if you make one pass once, and if you make one type of pass once and it does well, you're like more likely to make that type of pass again. But he's leaving a guy actually open. I mean, he's just leaving a guy wide open in the box to win sprint. Like, you know, he's, he's strafing into the goal here. And then he sees the shot coming in and makes an, a spectacular clearance. Super lucky to not hit the goalkeeper, right? Does a really good job of not just getting to the ball, but if he gets the ball, it's going to deflect into the back of the goalkeeper, right? He stabs it back out and he stabs it back out to this guy. Who's not the guy he was marking, but another dude who's just standing right in front of the goal who tries to deal with this hot potato and shoots it. It then deflects up into the air. Hamza Chowdhury in this time has gotten himself up inside the goal, come back out to the goal line again and put himself right behind his goalkeeper so that he can head the ball over like out the one boom. He's back up. He's on the goal line and he's able to perfectly execute the flip over the goal. That's a perfect set of goal line clearances. The perfect hat trick of goal line clearances. Right foot, left foot, header, in case you didn't know what that meant. For Leicester to maintain its one goal lead over West Brom. But there is a Robin to Hamza Chowdhury's Batman. You might have noticed it 
But if you didn't notice it, I absolutely have to point it out for you. Because the Robin to Hamza Chowdhury's Batman is the goalkeeper for Leicester. I don't know his name. I'm going to be completely Hermanson. Uh, Mads Hermanson, a 23-year-old from Denmark. Haven't actually watched a lot of the championship this year. I'm just here to make fun of it. So Mads Hermanson's the goalkeeper here. He's unable to make this save, but Hamza Chowdhury obviously makes it. Now, what Mads Hermanson actually does is impressive, is what Hamza Chowdhury does after his second goal line clearance. Hermanson's actions, more impressive. And I don't think it's particularly close. See, Hermanson is down. And as a goalkeeper myself, it, not near this level, obviously, but it, we used to do these drills where you'd like, make a save, you got to get up really quick. Make a save, you got to get up really quick. Make a save, you got to get up really quick. So this is something that goalkeepers drill all the time. And Hermanson demonstrates why to a T. He goes down for the save. He doesn't even make the save, but he sees the ball come back from some mysterious benefactor behind him. And now he is up immediately he doesn't even get fully up he scrambles and look at the extension this is unbelievable goalkeeping like i just that's it's incredible and he saves it that's the i mean look hamza chowdhury the type of form he was in maybe he's just going to clear that ball off the line again or it's, he's going to scott sterling and hit him right between the eyes but hermanson does not know that and he makes an unbelievable save this guy takes one touch, it falls down in front of him, and he's going to shoot the ball. And in that time, Hermanson scrambles his way right in front and just, you know, no fear for life and limb, throws himself in front of this shot. He's super unlucky that it seems to bounce back off the guy and towards the goal to create a third goal line clearance for Hamza Chowdhury in the first place. But... I, I play a lot of like co-ed soccer in the U.S., right? Like, like, like rec league, men's league. We don't have Sunday league, so that's basically what we have. And sometimes as a goalkeeper, you're just not really up for the game and you don't really throw yourself into the way of this sort of stuff. This is the highest definition of being up for the game, be having the right mentality. This dude is doing everything possible, sticking to his training, but doing everything possible to keep that ball out of the back of the net. And he meets this guy right at the ball. That is... He's diving into cleats and knees there to try and get to that ball. And obviously, Hamza Chowdhury had a perfect hat trick of goal line clearances. That's the main story, and it's crazy impressive. But I just had to give a shout out to my boy, Mads Hermanson, whose name I learned like two minutes ago. Something else that was really cool as a result of this is Jamie Vardy's actually getting taken out of the game. And you can see he gives Hamza Chowdhury, he gives him the captain's armband. Uh, that is just a really... Jamie Vardy is so for the club. That dude's such a winner. Jamie Vardy understands the vibes, the way things are perceived, how to offer the proper encouragement. Hamza Chowdhury is one of those guys that was a pretty regular first-team player at Leicester when they got relegated. He's part of that contingent that's, like, going to try and get the team back up. He is the type of guy that, you know, if Burnley or Sheffield United if he was really interested in going to play there just to be in the Premier League, they absolutely would have loved to have had Hamza Chowdhury based off my understanding of his, you know, the way other scouts perceive him and then, you know, tweet stuff or update his football manager attributes for me. And, and the fact that he's stuck around at Leicester and Jamie Vardy kind of recognizing that contribution, all of this is just, it makes me feel good. I realize that a lot of this story is, is a team in the championship that's got Premier League resources and they're kind of beating up on a lot of people. But there is also a cool humanitarian story in a club that is able to keep a core together even after getting relegated. And Leicester's a special club, let's be honest. They're the, they're the black sheep of all the people that have won the Premier League in the kind of modern uh, post-Fergie era, right? They're, they're the weird team that nobody can quite figure out that's either in Europe or in the championship. And I think part of the reason that they seem so resilient in this situation is the kind of cohesiveness that is brought about by somebody like Jamie Vardy watching a guy get three goal line clearances and then giving him the captain's armband on his way off the field. Just an awesome day for Leicester City. Obviously, if you're one of their fans, you're happy that they're top of the league. But almost more important than an awesome day, something I've never seen before. I'm really curious to know if you guys have ever seen it before, because if you have, I know it's going to be all over the comments, but I... I, I legitimately, I didn't, I'd never understood, I, I'd never heard of the concept of a perfect hat trick of goal line clearances. Right place, right time, right player. Shout out Hamza Chowdhury. Also, idea for a nickname, top comment was the ball in Bengali. That's a sick nickname. If anybody wants to use that, make sure they credit Bright Business on Reddit, I guess.